Before we look at the solution to problem number one, let's first make sure we understand the database schema. By database schema, what I mean is just, you know, what are the tables, what are the columns? That's just the technical term schema that they use in the field of databases. Okay, now it's essential before we start writing any SQL uh, for, for any question or for any real world situation, you have to first understand the database. So you have to know what are the tables and what columns uh, uh, does each table have. And furthermore, for more advanced problems or advanced situations, you also need to understand how the tables relate to each other. Right? So those are all the important things. So for this assignment, I have already given you this database, which is the college database. As you can see, it has a table giving details of students, another table giving details of instructors, and then a table containing information about courses, a table containing information, of information about the sections of the various courses that are being offered, and finally a table that tells you which students are registered in which sections. Okay, so that's the overall structure. So for all the questions in this particular assignment, we are looking at it from the context of this particular schema. Okay, so with that said, let's move on to question number one. Okay, question number one says list all attributes of all students. Okay, so the first thing we need to think about whenever you're trying to answer a question is, okay, I've got my schema. Now from this, they're telling me, list all the attributes of all students. So the very first thing that I need to think about is, well, which is the table that contains the information that I want? Okay, it could be one table, it could be multiple tables. Now, given that this is kind of early stages in SQL, we are working with a single table. Okay, so which table among all these tables contains the information we want? So obviously the information we want says list all attributes of all students. Okay, so it's very clear from this that it is the students table that contains the information that we want. Okay, so that's pretty clear. Now in SQL, we always say, first we say, especially when you're retrieving information, your first thing is always select, okay? So select is one of the SQL clauses, okay? So whenever you're trying to retrieve information, you use the select clause, okay? So we say select, and then we, in SQL, what we say is we first say select, and then we say which are all the columns we want to see. Okay, which columns are supposed to be included in the output. Okay, so we've already determined that the table that we want to use is the students table. From that table, which columns do we want? Okay, in this case, the question is very clear. It says list all attributes of all students. Okay, now one thing we could do is we could actually list attribute by attribute. But there's a shortcut when you want all attributes and that shortcut is star. Okay, so I can say select star and the next thing we need to say is okay, I want all these columns from which table, in this case it's from the table called students. That's it. Question number one is done. 